All right, how do you take your tea? How do you take your tea, Heather? I like a little honey. Yeah, yeah. a sugar, one one lump or two. I know that's like any the sugar. Old school. No, no. I think just the honey. But okay. all of these terrific tea terrific items are from a tea shop in Millville, and that's where we find Daisy this morning. So Daisy, tell us more about where you are. Hi, Heather and David. Yes, we're here in Millvale, a Bia Voyant Tea Company. I yeah. just learned how to say it's French, so I had to, you know, hopefully I had the correct accent, but it's a beautiful tea shop here. We actually have Danielle, who is the owner, and you have been working with tea for, gosh, a long time. Long time, since 2007. So, um, and then about 2016, we moved here. We're a community tea shop. Um, that focuses on blending teas and telling stories through our teas. And, and your shop is so beautiful. Thank As we you. were featuring earlier, you have a really cute, you know, Pittsburgh section with like Nebby tea and, Nebby you know. Chai and yeah. Jag off yeah. for the person that you don't like. Yeah, or exactly. maybe you do. <laughs> exactly. I love it so much. But we actually have a few things you wanted to explain to yeah. us because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that love tea but maybe haven't seen this process before. Yeah, so this is Jess, my manager, and she is currently blending up um, the Strip District blend for Love Pittsburgh. You can only get it at Love Pittsburgh. Ooh. They have um, a few exclusive blends that we only do for them, and we do that for some of our wholesale clients where you can actually pick up um, we, we blend a specific tea for um, a, a space or a business, and then you only can get it there. Okay. So Jess is doing that right now. So she's measuring just different. You have a, a whole shelf here, here full of different kinds. Different kinds of teas and herbs and everything. All of our herbs and the majority of our teas are organic. Um, we spend a lot of time sourcing and uh, a lot of energy sourcing quality products. Mm. So... This is, um, that's a Lapsong Souchong that you're smelling. It's a little bit smoky because the I was gonna say, it is smells... kind of smoky. And so one of the things when we tell stories through tea, like we try to uh, mimic the, the feel or the flavor of that space. So Love the that. district has a little bit of smoke to it. Just, it's got that new feel. So we, um, yeah. And so. you actually offer workshops and classes right next door at the library for like tea blending, mm -hmm. chai making, that sort of thing. Yeah, so we had a chai making class, which was so popular. We're going to do it again. Um, we did a mocktail class, which is coming up again. Um, just an information on um, Irish tea. We did oh. an Irish tea class for St. Patrick's Day. So anything kind of fun we love to do. So much to learn about tea. Okay, well, one practical thing you wanted to show us is something that a lot of people may not be familiar with doing, right? But you're going to show us. how to make loose leaf tea. Yeah. So it's really interesting. Um, people, when you get a, uh, leaves, they get very nervous about, like, oh, what do I do with this? Very simplistic. So this is one of our blends. We actually um, blended this for Britsburg. Um, it was the Dowager Countess of Grantham. Um, oh. So, you know, if you're a Dalton Abbey person. That's right, yeah. So um, the thing that people don't realize about loose leaf tea is it's very similar to tea bags, um, but it's much better in flavor. So literally one teaspoon of tea okay. is all you need. Um, one to two teaspoons for a nice, this is a big mug. So two teaspoons will do you, and you can steep that several times. Okay. Um, traditional, uh, a traditional way to do it would be to put it in a, um, a steeping a uh, vessel like this, we like a nice deep one or something that allows the leaves to move around and you just pour them right in there, pour your hot water over top and you're ready to go. The other things you can do is if you are on the um, run, you can actually do um, something wow. like you can get these make your own tea bags. You just put your tea right in. Oh, and then there you go. You can just steep it that way. We give it a little, we give it a little swirly twirly and a knot on the top which allows this big, nice, big one to loose leaf so that the, it can move around and you can, you know, get all the flavor. And That's then the, awesome. the other way you can do it is if you want to make a pot at home, you put the tea right in there, and then when you pour out, you would pour over here and it would oh, catch all of okay. your Oh, okay. Now, this smells amazing. I know you guys out there can't smell it, but Heather and David, we were going to do the mocktails, which you actually, again, have workshops and different things. Right. We're going to go ahead and take care of that right now. We've got to send it back to you guys at the studios. But again, there are so many cool workshops, great way to learn about tea. I mean, you are the, what did you call it again? The TEO. The TEO <laughs> of that. tea here in Millvale. So a lot to learn, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. April 21st is International Tea Day, so go ahead and, you know, maybe some great Mother's Day gifts or just something fun to learn.
We love it. Thank you, Daisy. Yeah, and we have like a selection here we on do. the table right now. In fact, I'm so appreciative of this because she actually sent over this Breathe Teasy. And, and this is for allergies, allergies yeah. right here, this one. Yeah, and we're, we have something poured here that we're going to try. So this is called Poolside, and it's green tea with mint and lemongrass. And so we just want to give it a whirl. How do you Cheers. think it's, Cheers. It smells, it smells refreshing. Oh, yeah. I like it already. Ooh, that's lovely. What a nice thing. And I can see why it would be Ooh. great at the pool side. Exactly. A lot of these, you can make them as iced tea or hot tea, so that's great too. Oh, I like this. Very summery. All right, for more on Abea Voyant Tea Company, just go to our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com.